If you're looking to make money right now in GTA Online, look no further because I have the ways you can make money right now and make yourselves a whole bunch of money, especially when it's spooky season in GTA 5 Online. So if you're hyped, drop a like and let's jump right into this. Now the first way I would recommend making money in GTA Online, and I would recommend doing this with a friend, but you can also do this solo because I did it solo, but it's going to take some time if you do it solo. That's why I recommend getting some friends for this. If you have no friends like me, just write in the comments below your gamer tag and get some friends that way. The first way of making money is survivals. There's double money and RP on this. These are the spooky survivals. Now I'm going to show you the one that you can complete solo or that with friends, but I recommend doing it with friends. If you do it solo, it could take some time. Now the survival one here is with the aliens. This one here is called the ranch. This one here is by far the easiest one you can complete 100% and solo with friends would be a lot easier as well so come over here if you want to do endless rounds that means endless money and gta line you can do it that way but you might be there all day and you probably have a life so you don't want to do it all day so just do 10 rounds see spooky it's just spooky survivals we got here now some spots in our house so we can chill and just night night people the most easiest way possible as you see now look at this it's spooky we got ufos all around us you can use a couple gats in this one here i had the alien laser gun this thing here is pretty darn good it's the only thing you're gonna need pro tip make sure you get some armor and snacks before you do the survival or any survival in this game because you never know trust me you never know there's armor and snacks around the whole entire map but trust me when people throwing hands and stuff like that you don't want to be down you want to be upstairs this is a spot where literally no npcs come only way they can come up here is through those stairs right there or that just somehow they climb up the house and make sure not to fall down the steps you might break a leg get your armor get your snacks downstairs get loaded because there's gonna be around 12 npcs gonna start the match right here It'll be little boys from the country night night them all you get 40 rp per night night says it's double money and rp on this remember if you do endless rounds you're making yourselves a lot of money if you do a 10 rounds you're making yourself some good money now it's gonna start getting difficult around the fourth wave that's why i recommend going upstairs and chilling up here you and your friend you can have somebody on the roof or that you can have somebody in this doorway right here but trust me if you're doing this solo you might have to run around a little bit to get the people moving and stuff like that but watch out sometimes the npcs are just lurking and you don't even see the red dot and they pop out of nowhere and they night night yeah. me the man that i am with a plan said you know what let me roam around the house and night night these npcs because sometimes literally they don't move if you don't see them moving i go ahead risk it it's up to you if you're with a friend to tell him let him be the you know the decoy because that's what we do around here waves 10 look at this there's a mess at the bottom of the stairs these guys have literally look at this the gatlin boys down there literally they keep on running around with them that's why you gotta stay upstairs and trust me if you get night nighted a wave 10 you don't complete it trust me the blood pressure is going up to the ceiling this might happen to you like i said before the npcs might not move they just stand there if you don't see them moving risk it i had a night night these npcs right here because this guy's hiding behind the door like i can't see him and bada boom bada bing i got the survival pass if you do it with friends it'd be a lot quicker i did it solo it took me five thousand years wave 10 has been reached got myself a hundred thousand dollars plus over six thousand rp you can make a lot more if you do endless waves you can do this a lot faster if you have friends so write in the comments below your game attack so you can do this with some friends in the comments but it gets better we came over here to slasher now if you do this in the invite only session meaning just go to invite only session and start slasher this is three times the money and rp on this you will get yourself more rounds that means more money if you and your friends go back and forth with the w's now i'm in a public session that means not that many rounds but if you're lucky like i am you're gonna get yourself some good money by doing this right so here. it's spooky time with gta 5 line lights are off there's a man coming after us with gator shotgun we gotta watch out for this man we're all scattering like fleas on a cat now turn off the lights get a little spooky do this around 3 a.m to make the whole entire thing feel a little bit more spookier because it's spooky season now the only pro tip about this is run run as fast as possible just like any horror movie does just run and don't trip when you think about it it's kind of like a horror movie you literally there's one guy chasing you and there's a good chance you're gonna get night nighted but if you don't get night nighted there's a chance for revenge you heard that revenge now i try to become one with the wall so this man doesn't see me but apparently the wall is seeable with me on it so he did see me he night nighted me and i got it myself and out i always thought about that in horror movies why not just hide in the shadow to become one with the wall well, apparently it doesn't work so that's why they don't do it so if you're ever in a horror movie get away from the walls don't stand against the walls. It doesn't work. You don't become one with the wall. Now, anybody survives on your team, the meaning of the team that's getting hunted, listen, you got you got a chance. Listen, there's always a chance. You got a chance at night night, the antagonist, meaning you're the protagonist, get yourself a W. In my case, this guy here it fumbled the ball. He didn't get the clutch, but let's see how much money the guy who's the hunter made for this round right here. Again, a triple money and RP on this. He made himself over twenty-two thousand dollars for that round. Not bad. We got okay money, but let's get let's get ourselves a dub, okay? Let's get ourselves rejuvenated. So round two, your boy came in the clutch. 
much as he always would do. And it's just me and this guy left. We have 20 seconds left. And when the hunter gets closer to you, your controller starts shaking like a fat guy's cankles on the top of a tightrope in New York City. Listen, it's a little spooky. Again, we learned from before, we don't stand against walls in horror movies. So if we try to blend in like John Cena, it doesn't work. We got to crouch in the distance and eventually we get Gator's Gat. We can go and get some revenge. Now, if you made it this far in the video, drop a W in the comments and I'll heart every one of those comments. If you made it this far in this mode right here, listen, now you can go and get some revenge. Now, depending on how many people are left on your team, you got to go out there and find the man that's been trying to night night you. And once you night night him, bada boom, bada bing, you get yourself a dub. Got ourselves a W right there. Got ourselves $22,000. We got ourselves in the W column. It's pretty darn good. And then the next round, literally, I don't know what happened. The man got night nighted, the hunter, and we literally got the whole entire W for the whole entire match, giving us over $70,000. Plus, you can make yourself a lot more money if you do this in an invite only session or even have more rounds to it. Another way you can make money this week in GTA Online, if you have yourself a bunker, I don't know why I was in a bed. The bed is pointless in this game. Does anybody know why there's a bed in this game? Why are you laying it? It's pointless. Just like the shower in this game is pointless. That being said, come over here to your computer in your bunker. Now, there's a cool little thing you can do. I recommend going out there and just buying the supplies, but you also you can go ahead and grab it. If you grab it, you get this cool little thing for this week in GTA Online. So I went there and grabbed some supplies. I brought it back to my bunker, and now I got my sweet self a cool little Halloween mask. It makes a cool sound as well. I didn't play the sound because I was too scared. It was around 4 a.m. and I was too scared. Now, the mask you get is one of these vampire masks. It's one of them. I think it's a green one. This one here, I believe, is the one you get. So go out there, grab the supplies, get yourself that cool little mask. Not as cool as this right here because double money and RP on sell missions for the bunker. I'm going to sell it for almost $500,000 in a public session with a full lobby. You sell this, you're going to get yourself a bonus. Me, I'm doing it solo because I have no friends. I want no high blood pressure. I want to do this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, if you get this mission right here, you have 30 minutes to complete it. You got five deliveries you got to do. You deliver the package and Meriwether's going to pop up. Go ahead and take care of them. Sometimes the NPCs don't even come next to you. You have to run 5,000 miles to get them. Rockstar Games, if you're watching, maybe, just maybe, fix it. If not, it's okay. Keep on putting all your resources to GTA 6 when it comes out in 2090. So bada boom, bada bing. We'll start delivering the packages here. We'll start night nighting the NPCs. We're doing tremendous things in life. If you have this mission right here, watch out for the third crate because that's when the helicopters come in. And there's a good chance you're going to get night nighted because these NPCs literally look at this. They don't miss. No jokes. I swear I had to run up a whole entire mile to get to this truck right here and watch what happens. It's been driving around all day. Look at this. It just says, no, what? Not today. I'm not going to I'm not gonna even intrigue this man over here that's running around in his Halloween outfit. I'm not even going to do this. Uh, these NPCs, listen, they're not all there, am I right? But eventually took him out. I got to the last destination, and I literally couldn't destroy this truck at all. Literally had like a force fill around it, but then I realized I think I was hitting. Yeah, I was definitely hitting a pipe. That's my bad. But I eventually got it night nighted. Got myself over four hundred thousand dollars right there. If you want to make yourselves even more money, the laziest way possible, with the bunker, the top right corner, click on that card right there. That's gonna show you how to make yourself millions of dollars right now in GTA Line with the bunker. Literally, the laziest way possible to make yourself millions. I came over here at this to my time trial. This one here you're gonna think dip it's two minutes this looks a little hard it's actually pretty darn easy i do not recommend taking this route i'm highlighting right here let me show you the route i recommend doing literally this one right here gonna be swerving all around you get hit into a tree a pole a rat it's something's gonna come out of nowhere and get you watch out for that one you want to come over here to the right and you want to take this route this one right here this highlight to right here you're gonna get this nice smooth road right here this is a bike i'm using for this time trial right here it's only fifteen thousand dollars you can mod it up if you have a higher rank but overall i recommend just keep on doing willy doing this time trial right here watch out for closed cars because sometimes they drive you right into the car i got my feet right back onto that bike and i started driving like no other and look at this a clean sailing we're gonna make it there with a couple seconds to spare if you have the hsw bike upgrade on it listen that bike right there is a lot faster you probably have 20 seconds left to spare after that time trial right here i saw the need for speed so i came over here to the junk energy drink time trial this one here it might be different for you tomorrow so whoever is on the map look on the map you're gonna see the junk energy drink time trials you do this every day in gta line because every day there's a new one go to it get yourself fifty thousand dollars plus in a total week you get yourself three hundred fifty thousand dollars in a total month it's like a million dollars plus also watch out for the spooky spaceships around the map you might see it in the distance if you see it in the distance go ahead take a photo of it and get yourself fifteen thousand dollars and some rp i believe eventually you get yourself something cool because every day in gt line you got to find yourself the ufo when you do just take a photo of it you get something cool at the end of the day i don't know what it is because i don't really care for it. if i don't get a free ufo i can drive around the map with it rockstar why am i gonna do it trust me it's not even worth it but i tell you what is worth it go ahead and find these ghosts around the map it only happens at night i have a video right here showing you exactly do it and i catch you on it